As material scientists, the properties of surface are often very relevant, but getting quantitative data is difficult. This is especially true at the nanometer scale and when we're interested in magnetic fields, currents, or electric fields. Scanning nitrogen vacancy microscopy is a new approach that can provide exactly this data. It uses a single defect as a highly sensitive atom-sized probe. The defect is embedded in a diamond tip, which is scanned over the surface, providing quantitative data with nanometer resolution and high sensitivity. Before 2020, there were just a few groups in the world that had the expertise to build their own NV microscope, and this strongly limited the accessibility of the technique to the scientific community. So in 2019, we saw that there was a need for a full system, and then this is when we decided to go for building one. The first uh, instrument took several years to build, which originated from uh, a basic research idea. Then about five years ago, a professor in material science approached me whether he would do a joint user facility, uh, which is now our main workhorse magnetometer. And uh, the version that is commercially available now is version 3, which is based on our user facility. So at QSaber we try to get the most out of a scanning NV system by enhancing the performance of each individual part and make it as easily accessible to the user as possible. The QSM is really built and designed around the needs of our customers. And one crucial aspect for them is to produce uh, bias magnetic fields, either to optimize the sensor performance or to maybe just induce some properties in their samples. The QSM allows you to do so by using a vector electromagnet that can uh, set, ramp and sweep magnetic fields in an arbitrary direction. So first we actually need to find the NV center with a confocal scan. And when doing that, you see a bright light in the middle of the pillar. There is your NV. And then we will run an ODMR experiment where we sweep microwave frequency and detect the fluorescence contrast. And by applying different lengths of microwave pulses, we will drive Rabi oscillations and measure those. When using pulse protocols, you gain several advantages. The most um, immediate one is you gain sensitivity because you reduce effects such as power broadening when you use continuous wave experiments. Another unique feature of the QSM is really the optic set. We have put a lot of engineering and thoughts into designing custom optical elements that can maximize the collection efficiency of the fluorescence from the sensor itself. This impacts signal to noise that affects directly data quality and uh, measurement time. The scanning tip is important to the measurement because it contains the NV center at the tip and this is the sensor that we use to detect magnetic or electric fields. Furthermore, the nanopillar structure in the diamond helps to improve collection efficiency so that we can collect more of the NV center fluorescence. Our experiments require very near surface NV centers and this has been shown to reduce the coherence time because of magnetic or electric impurities on the surface. So one thing that we're trying to do is improve the quality of the surface to extend this coherence time. Our vision is to make scanning NV as widely available to all sorts of different fields as possible so that it becomes a standard technique for characterizing surfaces at the nanometer scale. I would say the most important results in the past year or two have been made with antiferromagnetic materials, which are very difficult to measure with other techniques. Usually you have to go a to a synchrotron. Uh, however, with our instrument, we can do this in a tabletop setting. I'm looking forward, what we're working on right now is uh, trying to uh, improve the sensitivity. So a recent milestone has been the imaging of atomic steps in an antiferromagnet. And we're also looking in other imaging modalities. So you can only, not only image magnetic fields, but also uh, topography and most recently electric fields. So the idea of this instrument will be to do correlated imaging of electric fields, magnetic fields, and maybe optical properties. I think that the next big milestones for the scanning tip measurements are to improve the spin readout fidelity through improved collection efficiency, improved coherence properties for the NV, and finally by moving the NV closer to the surface and therefore the sample, because this way we can get higher field sensitivity. In the near future, we really want to make the technique faster. Currently, uh, taking 
scanning maps with our uh, microscope can take up to several hours and we want to bring this down to minutes. We also want to go beyond magnetic field sensing and uh, equip the QSM with the capability to measure surface noise spectra, electric fields as well as nanoscale thermometry.